Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a haul video. While I was in London, I went to Oxford Street with my friend and we did so much shopping. We went to Superdrug, went to Selfridges and went to Debenhams and we did so much shopping so I thought I would just not use anything that I bought and just do a massive haul for you guys. Most of my things were from Superdrug but I did get some things from Debenhams too and I did go to Lush as well so we've got a massive bag of stuff I'll show you. So we've got all that stuff to get through today. It's a mixture from makeup to skincare, beauty, just like a heap of stuff. So um, I hope you all enjoy this video and let's get started. I do like a pick and mix thing, just do my hand in it, pull whatever out and see how it goes. We've got a lot of stuff to get through so here's hoping we can get through it. <laughs> the first thing is some Ferrero Rochers. I got this at Superdog because while I was waiting in the line, for to buy my stuff, um, these were only a pound and I love Ferrero Rochers, they are just like the best thing for Christmas time so I just had to get a pack in, it's so cute and they are only a pound as well. So yes again, um, at Superdrug, the main reason why I bought quite a lot of stuff, um, like makeup wise because they are doing like a 3 for 2 offer so if you get 3 things you are only paying for 2. The offer is finished now which is a shame but when it comes on again hopefully sometime soon <laughs> um it'll be absolutely amazing because i got so much stuff and i barely had to pay anything for it because since i do work at super drug as well i have my discount card and i get so much money off of it so i was just like living for the moment got these eyelashes from eyelure they're the texture number 157 i just love them because they're so like they're stacked lashes and they're so wispy and beautiful um i have tried these on and I'm not really the biggest fan of them because the band is weird I think it's really thick and it's like not on top it's like underneath which I don't like um, and they're not really that comfortable to wear either so I don't think I'll be getting these again but they were really nice on but I think I prefer my Ardell Wispies speaking about Ardell Wispies <laughs> of course these are my favourite lashes I've ever tried on and they're just my number ones. They're so dramatic and they're so beautiful and they still look kind of natural as well. And that plus it comes with a dual glue, like and I don't even have to buy a tube of dual glue because it always comes with it's the only ones I ever get. So I had to get those as well. And this is Zoella hand cream, it's the Hungry Hands hand cream. And this is for her Christmas collection. So obviously it's gingerbread. I'm gonna open it just now because I haven't opened it because I've been waiting to do this haul for so long. I don't know when I've beaten back. I've been back for ages and I haven't opened anything. And the reason I got this is because I just love like last year I got this hand cream from the body shop and I was absolutely in love with it and it was four pounds for like a tiny tube and I saw Zoelle was bringing out this hand cream and it's gingerbread and just Christmas it was just I think this is gonna get me in the Christmas mood I really hope so because I'm really not feeling Christmasy at the moment but it's still November you know what I mean so I've got time so it says show your hands some love with this heavenly scented super moisturizing gingerbread and warm vanilla hand cream enriched with nourishing shea butter vitamin e a pinch of ginger and a dash of vanilla to leave hands feeling silky smooth and soft to touch oh my god i actually i'm going to use this right now i'm going to see what it smells like because this oh my god it sounds amazing i didn't even know it had vanilla in it oh my god it smells so much like gingerbread. It smells like a Yankee candle. It's not really that strong. I thought it was going to be a lot stronger, but it was only like £5, so it was a really good deal, and it, it does feel really good. It's not a shame. This Tanya Burr palette, it's the Peachy Glow Cheek palette. I have the Rosy Flush palette, and this one is obviously new for like Christmas time, so I had to get it. I think, it's only, I think it might be limited edition, but I'm not too sure. This is what it looks like on the inside, if you can see. Like, the main reason why I got this was because of the bronzer. Like, in my other, my rosy flush palette, my bronzer actually broke, and I was so upset. But I did fix it, but it's really hard to use. Like, it's not the same. So I wanted to get this just so I can use the bronzer, like, really well. I'm going to stop using that bronzer. And then this one as well, the highlighter is more to my skin tone. I think this is all more to my skin tone than the other one. But it's absolutely beautiful. And I love the mirror. And it's, 
everything about it is just so good if you haven't heard or tried this palette this bronzer is the best bronzer you will ever use the best bronzer i've ever used better than rimmel better than my hula bronzer this is my ultimate favorite and the oh the blush is so, it's called apricot flush it is so beautiful and the highlighter the highlighter is to die for especially when you spray it with some fix plus or water or something it'll be like to the gauze and back again <laughs> so i got this powder it's just a revlon color stay powder in the shade 830 light medium i'm not too sure about this powder because i was going to get one from maybelline so i usually use the maybelline fit me powder and i absolutely love it but they don't do that anymore i think they don't only do it online i didn't want to get it online because i was in store so i just wanted to get what i could in store so i just got this one instead but i think the this one is not really my skin tone like it's good but it's more like a pink undertone and i'm a yellow undertone but it still works so this is what it looks like it's really powdery which i quite like because i love a lot of powder it's a little compact it's so cute comes with a little mirror and it comes with a little sponge thing as well which is so cute i absolutely love it so i've been using that a lot from now on my other one is completely finished my maybelline fit me powder but i think i'm gonna have to like throw it away but I'm gonna do a empties video and just collect everything that I finished and then make a video about it and tell you like review it and stuff which will be really cute. This is the most exciting thing. This is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is a Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick and it's in the shade Naughty by Nature. I got this from Debenham so when I went in I was actually planning to get the Urban Decay um, naked skin concealer because mine's just finished which I'm so sad about but then I saw they did a Kat Von D stand like in London I was like oh my god and then they did a Too Faced stand so I'm just looking through the Too Faced stuff because I saw they had like the concealer which I'll show you next and then I was just looking about and I saw this lipstick like it wasn't actually this one I picked up before I picked up a different one like a dark red one but I saw this and it was 10% off for that day I was just like ha, I'm getting it and it wasn't it was quite expensive but it's a lot cheaper than what it would usually be and this lipstick is so good I wear I've been wearing it quite a lot actually and it's just so amazing like you tap your lips together it just feels so nourishing and moisturizing it has so many benefits in it what does it say it has avocado oil vitamin E so it's just as really good for your skin and it's just amazing it smells pretty good too oh. like i kind of feel like i want to say it smells like chocolate because it kind of it's brown and it kind of does smell like chocolate but in a way it doesn't but i really recommend this this is really good and i can't wait to get more so now for a not too exciting bit I had to get myself some mouthwash because we're doing a deal, two for five pound, and one of them, if I want it's four pound, and it's two for five pound. I always get that deal because this is my favourite mouthwash of all time. This is the Listerine Stay White mouthwash. It is just, it prevents stains your teeth, obviously to keep your teeth whiter, because I'm always wanting a white smile, even though my teeth aren't as white as I would like them, but this helps a lot, and I use a whitening toothpaste as well. So I got this. Nothing too exciting, just some mouthwash. Got this hair gel stuff. It's the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Gel Souffle with agave nectar and flaxseed oil for a thick curly hair. When I was in America, I picked up a Shea Moisture product and it was a spray, like a coconut oil and some other oil kind of spray and it made my hair feel absolutely amazing. And it didn't have it, it was really annoying. So I just saw this and I absolutely, like, I was looking for something else and I saw this and it's for my type of hair, like thick curly hair, but the only thing I'm not too sure about it is because it says it's a curling gel souffle and it is definitely a souffle, but it's just like it makes your hair sticky, like I've got it in my hair and um, it just like makes your hair really sticky and it just doesn't feel good on my hair. I'm quite disappointed with this product but in the way I kind of do like it at the exact same time. I think I need to keep using it more and just 
getting used to it because I've still got quite a lot and I just got it so I'll be using it for a while and it's cost like £10 from Superdrug which is really good. You don't get this in Aberdeen, you only get this online or obviously in London which is really good and Shea Moisture is a really good company for like people with really thick curly hair like me. My hair type curly is just not right anymore and I'm really struggling with it. So I'm hopefully going to try more of the Shea Moisture products and hopefully I can actually figure out what to do with my hair. If any of you out there have thick curly hair like me, like this is not my natural curls by the way, this is just it from like a braid out. Um, please let me know what you do because I'm always trying to improve what I do with my hair. I'm trying to look after it as much as possible but anything I try doesn't seem to work. So I don't know what to do. But of course, since I bought my mouthwash, I had to buy some toothpaste too. I was, a lot of things, I was just running out and I had nothing. I was waiting for a payday. I got paid. So then I got heaps of stuff from Super Drugs that I needed. So this is just the Colgate Max White Toothpaste. I've never used this before, so I can't really tell you my opinion. I only got it because it was the cheapest toothpaste there and it's for whitening, so why not? I got this cute little pink pom-pom with my 3 for 2 offer at Super Drug. So I don't know if they're ever going to do this again. This is the first time I've ever heard them doing this. And it was really good offer. So if any of you got the 3 for 2, be done yet. Because it was on for a month and now it's ended. And it was just such an amazing bargain. I got so much makeup because of it. So I did get some Femme Fresh Intimate Wash. This is for your lady bits. I used to not use this at all. And it's just this has changed my life. This, if any of you are out there who don't feel too clean just go and get this and it's cheap and it's good i went to lush like we we're literally we we're looking for a super drug when we we're in austria i was with my friend nikki at the time and then we we're going on my google maps going back and forth finding so many different places to try to go to the super drug we couldn't find it then we went past lush in ages ago well not ages ago what well, kind of for my birthday bradley bought me like three bath bombs and I absolutely love them, like from Lush. And I've never loved a bath so much, especially the one that I had on my birthday. It was the best bath I ever had. It was so good. So I thought I'd try another bath bomb to see if I like it. This one is called the Sakura Bath Bomb. So I'm going to open this up to show you what it looks like. Oh, look at this bath bomb. Oh, it's so pretty. And I love this little bay here. Oh, it smells so good. It's, I, don't, I can't even explain what it smells like. Very floral. Um, but sweet and free kind of at the same time. I'm really bad at describing how things smell and things are, by the way, if you didn't already know. But, oh, this is so good. I cannot wait to try this out. I think I might do kind of like a nighttime routine, maybe. One day I will do a nighttime routine and we'll use a bath bomb and then he'll be all the way. Maybe not a nighttime routine, maybe like a pamper routine or something. This is the other thing I've got as well. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and it's in the shade Medium. And um, it's got coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. And um, yeah, this might be really good for your skin, but I've always wanted to try it because this is what I got instead of the um urban decay naked skin concealer because i've already tried that and i absolutely love it i do want it again but i'll have to wait longer to get it but i got this one instead it's oil free and it's really good this one kind of reminds me of the urban decay one but um i feel like this one has got less coverage yeah less coverage just because the formula is a little bit more watery I think I'm used to yeah I think it's just because it's more watery and I'm used to a lot thicker concealers but I love the applicator of this though like it's like it's a dofer but it's like bendy like it's like flexible which I think it's so cool so I've got these two Tanya Burr cosmetics lipsticks these are from her new collection and look how beautiful they are it's like proper gold well, not proper gold but it's like so luxury and it's just amazing i got the shade pink cocoa and big kiss while i was in london i did try to look for these and didn't have them like they had the the other shades we didn't have this shade and they are super dog 
and for some reason they haven't been put out and they've just been in a drawer for ages so one day i just thought well i think they're for sale so and i've got them i think they're 6.99 each which is really good i'm going to show you some swatches in the back of my hand just because these lipsticks are so nice and they last all day long i'm not even joking these are the most beautiful lipsticks ever tanya burke is my ex is actually amazing if none of you have even tried it pick something everything that i've tried from tanya burke is my ex i absolutely in love with it i i don't know how she does it but tanya burke is just amazing so these are the swatches here so big kiss is the red one and then pink coco is the other one they're just so beautiful and i love them so much Oh, I just I just love the smell of lipstick. Like when you smell liquid lipsticks, they don't smell like lipstick. They just smell like something. Obviously, whatever the formula is made of. But this smells like proper, old-fashioned, normal bullet lipstick, and I love it so much. So I can't wait to use those more because it just smells so good. I got myself some more micellar cleansing water. Um, before this video, my skincare routine would have already been up. I love this for taking off my eye makeup. It just makes it so much easier and it's less like hassle than using like a face wipe. And it's really good for taking your skin makeup off too, but I prefer it just like for my eyes. I got this L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I got this because, while well, actually while I was at Superdrug, I was having a lot of problems finding things that I actually wanted because so I already searched up what I needed so I can go get in and out and do other things but then a lot of the things that I wanted weren't there so I had to like change them about and I got this because Shani Grimmond on YouTube she raves about this mascara and I love the, like I love the wand every time I saw her use it so I was like okay why not try it for myself and this is such a good mascara i'm so glad i listened to shani grimmond honestly she is just amazing in general and for this first time this mascara I'm, I'm trying to look for cheaper alternatives to really good like high-end makeup i want to go like drugstore most of my time because it's a lot cheaper and i would rather get a good thing that's cheaper than an expensive thing that still does, does the exact same thing and this mascara is so good I show you the wand. It's really weird and flexible. And even before I take it out, it's so flexible. And it's so good. It has so many different spikes on it. And it's just like absolutely amazing. And I would recommend this mascara a hundred percent. It's so good. And once you, you need to keep playing with it because the formula is quite wet. Then once you put one layer on don't dip it back in again just put a second layer on whatever is still on the brush and it works perfectly fine and i love it i cannot wait to keep using that so i got this brow pomade from eyelure it's in the shade dark brown so i always wanted to try the anastasia dip brow pomade but obviously i can't really get a hold of it or it's too expensive or it's some kind of excuse that i always make up so i saw this one because it was on the three for two offer so i thought i'd just grab it and it's really good i really like this it, it's actually so weird to think how easy a pomade is because I usually use brow pencils I've always used brow pencils and I'm now switching to other ways of doing my eyebrows and this pomade is so good and you get so much from it literally I've used this quite a lot and I haven't even indented it like I got a feeling this is gonna last me for a very long time and it's not expensive at all. I've got this eyeliner, this is the Maybelline Liner Express Eyeliner and this is so good, like this is the actual like one bay, like the applicator. Like I remember so many years ago, I got this eyeliner from France and I was absolutely in love with it. And I saw that super, like we did it at Superdrug and I was just living. I was like thinking to myself, I used it. I've been looking for this everywhere for so long. I never ever found it. And now I have found it. And I would say this eyeliner is the exact same as my Kat Von D. Like I wear my Kat Von D um, tattoo liner right now. This is the exact same formula. It dries the exact same. And I'm... Oh, it's just the best thing ever because so this is only like a fiver 
is like five pounds for something. My Kat Von D um, liner was like twenty dollars because I got it from America. This is five pounds. It is such a bargain, and it works the exact same way. This is my last item, guys. It's just some deodorant. I ran out of my roll-on, and I need a new one, so I just got this one. And I usually use Sure or Dove or something like that, but they were too expensive. So, like I said, I'm like a junkie for a deal. Oh my god, this smells so good. Oh, it's so good. This is the Nivea Pearl and Beauty Smooth and Beautiful Underarms 48 Hour Dental Care. So this is the finished video guys, I really hope you all enjoyed it, I love filming haul videos, I love going shopping, I just love showing you what I get, I really hope anything that I've said has helped you, because I swear to god all the products that I've gotten, I love like every single one, the makeup wise, obviously the hair stuff I'm not too sure about, I'm not too sure about my hair in general anyways, but all the makeup I completely recommend, and I am like so happy with everything that I got. I wouldn't buy something or maybe try something if I didn't hear a good review about it or if I knew it, I wasn't too sure about it. So that's that there for you. So I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and tell your family and friends. I really want to just try and grow my community and sometime soon I'll be getting a new camera, new equipment so I can make really good videos for you guys. So thanks again for watching, I'll see you guys later. Bye guys!